Hi everybody, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Just want to go through a few things with you about the rain gutter grow system, okay? If you've never had experience with one or built one, I want to explain to you exactly, a little more in detail, uh, what the system is, how it works, any questions you might have, and, and try to run over a few things. Okay, first of all, the rain gutter grow system is a self-watering grow system. What we use is a potting mix in the buckets. I use, I traditionally use uh, five gallon uh, buckets that I get at Walmart, their bakery department, you can get at various places, food grade, which work great. And what we do is we drill a two and seven eighths inch hole in the bottom of these buckets with a hole saw and then we insert what's called a net cup. It's a three inch net cup. It's commonly used in hydroponics and it has a finer mesh in it and we pack that with a wet potting mix that we mix up and then and then uh, pack it very tight and then insert that in the bottom of the five gallon bucket and then we fill it on up with the potting mix and water it well until uh, water starts dripping out of the bottom of the net cup. Now you've started what's called capillary action or a wicking sensation same way as if you, had a, if you had a cotton sock on and you dipped it in a little water, it wouldn't be long before that water would be drawn up or wicked up and your whole sock would be wet. Well, that's what makes the system work so well. Because the plants, as they use the water and the nutrients out of the potting mix, it gets replenished. If it's a real hot day, it'll draw more water. If it's a cloudy, cooler day, it won't draw as much. The plant knows what it wants. That way you don't have any overwatering, you don't have any underwatering, and you get phenomenal results. Hundreds and hundreds of units have been built now all over the United States and the world. Okay, what we want to do is, and I'll go more in depth when we go into actually more detail about how to build the system. I've got a video, if you just click on my name, it'll go right to the main page. It'll show you how to build one, but I want to go step by step through it with with a little more detail in, a, in, a, in the next video. Okay, who would want one of these? Well, what, what's really nice is it's a portable unit, okay? Especially if you're an apartment dweller or you live uh, in town, uh, your landlord says, no way, you're digging in my backyard. And now you've got a chance with a small area. We use uh, two 10 foot uh, two by fours, and then we take a vinyl, typically a vinyl uh, rain gutter, and glue the ends on it and and uh, screw that to the two by fours to support it. And the buckets rest on top of this uh, rain gutter, and then the water, the net cup itself, is submerged about three quarters of the way down in the water and that's what helps the wicking or capillary action up into the, the uh, medium for the plant to regulate that so you're not constantly filling that rain gutter I've incorporated a, what's called a mini float valve and depending on how many you want to build you might want to go with a couple different configurations on that if you want to join more than one together Okay, now that you've uh, inserted and mounted this float in the uh, rain gutter grow system, you maintain the water level. You can hook that up either to your well, your water supply, or a lot of people will catch their own rainwater, and you can hook it up to a rain barrel system. And then as the plants draw up the water, it'll replenish it automatically, which is fantastic for... A lot of people, they're busy nowadays, both working, husband and wives, or say you're a salesman or a truck driver. I've got a lot of guys, that are truck drivers, that love this because they're out of town most of the week and they come home and they can still enjoy gardening because they've got a system that totally maintains itself by replenishing the water and, and it works fantastic. Uh, one nice of the benefit is you can move it. If you're going to move, you can take it with you, go somewhere. 
Uh, it's great for handicapped people. You could even build a little bench for it and mount it up high. Someone with wheelchairs and stuff like that, a lot of people have enjoyed it can uh, enjoy it. But all your nutrients and everything are in the potting mix. So you don't have, and, there, and you can either use a, like a miracle Grow potting mix or a organic one, or you can do if you're doing a larger quantity like I do, and I'll go into that later when I show you how to build them, uh, make your own potting mix uh, a little more cheaper that way. But if you're just going to build one unit, it's pretty inexpensive just buy some good commercial potting mix. And when I go through the, how to build it and set it up and plan it, I'll uh, go through that. Uh, how much does it cost to build one of these? Probably by the time you figure the 2 by 4s and the uh, uh, rain gutter and, and the glue, and the, probably about 45 50 bucks maybe. But you got something that's going to last you years and years. And it's 10 feet long, okay? Uh, only about a foot wide, so you, you, know, you can put it on a patio or a, or you can make a half version. You, you can make a four foot un, unit. And you can use standard five gallon buckets, or I've used even buckets from the dollar store. Some guys use totes. These totes that you get for about five bucks at Walmart, then you can just put two net cups in the bottom of there and straddle them right on top the rain gutters grow system, and that works great. Okay, uh, what can I raise in it? I have raised, oh, tomatoes grow, patio types especially, because they don't need as much. I mean, you want a determinate like a patio type. Uh, they grow fantastic in it. Uh, you can support it. You know, put some kind of supports up to hold it. If you just get wind and stuff, you're, these are not going to tip over. Believe me, I've got 13 units with hundreds of buckets. I've never in three years ever had one ever tip over because of wind. And we get some pretty good wind here. But if I have a indeterminate tomato plant, which is going to grow six, seven feet tall, then what I do is I support that. I mount a cage, tomato cage, right in the five-gallon bucket, and then I, uh, you know, stabilize it with. I'll run a couple posts at both ends and run a wire and, and zip tie the tomato cages to it and stabilize it so it doesn't tip over. But I've raised carrots, uh, potatoes, green onions go nuts, squash, watermelon, cantaloupe, uh, beets grow crazy, cucumbers. Uh, hot peppers go nuts. Uh, I've raised just about everything and, and, and it's all come out phenomenal. If you look at some of my other videos, just go to my main page and type in the search bar, uh, Rain Gutter Growth System, and you can look at a lot of my, uh, the results I had and, and a lot of other people's results. Okay, um, what, what about mosquitoes and algae? Since it's open, you can see the water in it, okay. When you said it, I have never had a problem. That's a fact. My wife has a phobia about mosquitoes and standing water. Well, here's what I do. When I set it up, I usually get transplants or ones I've started, tomatoes, different things. I plant those in it, and then I water it from the top until the water starts dripping out of the bottom of this net cup. So you know that the potting mix is fully saturated. That way it will continue to replenish and capillary action wick it up. My water changes over frequently enough that there isn't stale water in the rain gutter to allow that. Uh, one thing you could even do is don't put any water in the rain gutter until you've watered it for a few days and, and the plants are established and they start wicking up the water and things and then you can add the water and adjust the flow to the correct level and uh, do it that way. If you still have well, phobias about that or a problem, you, okay, here's what you can do. You can take some in, inexpensive plastic, uh, you know, house wrap, you, they got this roll of plastic, and, you know, staple it on top of the rain gutter all the way down and just allow a small a piece at the end where the float goes up and down and just cover that with something and, and then put your buckets where you're going to 
put it along there where the net cuts and just cut a tiny little slit in that plastic and that now it's all completely covered there's no algae no chance of mosquitoes that works another thing you can use is what's called mosquito dunks if you google that you'll find them walmart handles them. what it is it's not toxic it's not a chemical it's an enzyme that kills any mosquito larvae and they last for quite a while you can take one of those little dunks and they treat quite a bit of water, you don't even need a whole one, and throw it in the rain gutter, and if any mosquito larvae would get in there, it will kill them. And it's totally organic, won't hurt anything. So, uh, that I haven't had any problem with it. Like I said, told my wife, I said, you find any mosquito larvae in there, I'll give you 50 bucks. That was three years ago, and I, I even gave her a dime. So, um, is it organic? Yes. You can, use, like I said, you can make your own potting mix, or you can buy a commercial one, or whatever. But I just wanted to go over through uh, some of the basic things of what the rain gutter system is. The standard 10-foot unit, when you take the 10-foot and, and rain gutters come in 10 feet, I take a vinyl rain gutter. I can usually use standard PVC cement or all-purpose uh, uh, PVC cement and glue the ends on. Uh, some guys, you get the rubber ends on them. Try to find ones without that, but you can still attach them on the end. But I'll go more into that when we get into how to build it. I just want to give a general overview to you of what the rain gutter system was, how it works. Like I said, it's fantastic for if you've never had had success with the gardening. That that that's the one main thing people have come back to me and said. My brother Steve in Nashville, Tennessee, he built these systems on a floating dock, and he lives on a houseboat, and he pumped lake water through it, and all he had. Phenomenal results. Never had a garden like this in his life. And a lot of people have told me. Because, like I said, it's not overwatered. It's not underwatered. It's perfectly watered all the time. And that's why you get such fantastic results. And if you look at my other videos, you'll see people that did it. But I just want to give some of the basic overview of what the unit is, how it works. And I'll go in the next video, go step by step through show you exactly how to build it where you can get the net cups and the float valve and uh, we'll cover all that okay this is larry at brain minnesota ciao